What's up guys, Nick True here, and today we're talking about the main reason you continue to overspend your budget and how simply changing your approach can change everything. I'm sharing five ways that budgets, when built correctly, allow you to save money and spend money on the things that you want at the same time. So if you've tried budgeting before and it just hasn't worked for you, I've got good news. If you can understand these five things that I'm about to share, you'll be well on your way to finally creating a budget that actually works. So the main reason that you continue to overspend your budget has to do with the way you've set it up. Part of the problem is that we all think that budgets are restrictive. We think that they put us in handcuffs and don't allow us to do the things that we really want to do. But that's the absolute wrong way to think about budgeting. Instead of budgets restricting your freedom, budgets should be giving you freedom. The key is to just set them up in a way that works with you and not against you. Now the first thing that budgets give you is control. I've said this a hundred times, but I'll say it again. I want you to set aside the word budget for just a second and instead replace that word in your head with the word plan because that's all it is. A budget is simply you sitting down and making a plan with your money. The key here is that since you get to make the rules, since you're the one taking control over your money, you should never ever feel bad about your spending. If you're not happy with the way that you're spending your money, then you should change it. And if you are happy with the way that you're spending your money, but you wish you were saving a little more, well then you need to have a conversation with yourself of, are you actually that happy with how you're spending your money? Or would you rather be doing what you really want, which is to ultimately save for these bigger things down the road? But the problem with only focusing on a long-term strategy is that if you make too many sacrifices now to where it's too painful, you're not going to stick with it. And ultimately, you're going to feel that restriction that most people associate with budgets. I would much rather extend the journey of paying off your debt or getting to a savings goal just a little longer and maximize having fun along the way so that you enjoy that journey rather than trying to do it in the quickest amount of time possible, knowing that there's a high percentage chance of you stopping completely because you burn out and get so frustrated. You want to find a balance that makes sense in your specific situation and to your personality, but you should never feel bad about it because ultimately you're in control and that's what the budget gives you. Okay, the second thing that budgets give you is a peace of mind. If you come to my website, mappedoutmoney.com right now, and you sign up for one of our resources for free, or you sign up for the email newsletter, the very first email that you're going to receive is one that just simply asks a question. What is the number one thing that you're struggling with right now as it relates to your finances? Now, I read and reply to every one of these emails, by the way. And do you want to know what the most common answer is? The most common answer is the word stress. And honestly, I get it. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've been stressed out about money in my own life. I understand that pain, but that's what budgeting can help you with. Budgeting gives you a peace of mind and actually can take that stress away. Today, one of these things that our budget does is we have a pretty healthy category for unexpected expenses because I know my personality and my personality is I don't like unexpected things. I don't like things going not according to the plan. So now I plan for the unplanned. I plan for the unexpected things to happen. And that provides me so much peace of mind because I know that when something happens, not if, when something happens that's unexpected, our budget will be ready and waiting to take care of it. All right. The third thing that budgets give you is more time. Now, this isn't true at first. Budgeting at first will be time intensive. You've got to set up your system. You've got to decide the best budgeting method for you. You've got to pick a tool that's going to work for you if you are going to use a tool. You've got to get it all set up, and that will take some time. But ultimately, it will save you so much time on the back end. Right now, when you're stressed out about money, it is always kind of lingering in the back of your mind. That, that debt or that savings goal or those things that you can't cover, the next month's bills that you're worried about, they're weighing in the back of your mind. So while you're at work or talking with your spouse or running the kids to school, it's always there. But when you create a budget, when you create a game plan that gets all of this planned out for you, you end up saving so much time because you're working more efficiently and you're not worrying nearly as much. 
All right, the fourth thing that a budget gives you is breathing room inside of your marriage. Hannah and I have done a few videos together where we talk about breathing room in our own marriage and how budgeting and coming together around money has given us so much empathy for each other, so much love for each other, and our overall relationship is so much better since we started working as a team on our budget. You can check out those videos for our story, but today I wanna share another story. I wanna share a story of a lady who just recently wrote me about her and her husband's struggles to get on a budget together. She wrote in a few months back and was having a really hard time getting on the same page as her husband. She wanted to buy certain things and save for certain things. He wanted to buy other things and save for other things. They were really having a hard time trying to get on the same page and they, they just couldn't figure it out. I gave her some advice to ultimately put herself in her husband's shoes and to try and have a lot more empathy for what he was seeing and figure out if they could come together around the budget to set aside money specifically for the things that he wants to make sure they do. And then they could set aside money for the things that she specifically wants to make sure that they do. So that was the advice I gave and, and honestly I didn't hear from her for a couple months and I assumed that she kind of went on her merry way. Then I just got this email last week. Let me read it to you. So she says, Thanks for your response. Your tip about focusing on what my hubby wants was super helpful. He's a huge movie fan and loves video games. We created a special category in our budget for movie money, and that's specific to making sure he can see all the movies that he wants. We have a local theater with decent ticket prices, so it's really not that expensive. We also created a sinking fund for when the new Xbox comes out, and we're putting money away each month for that. I am shocked at how much just those two little things have helped, and without a big impact on our financial goals. He doesn't quite have the financial freedom fever yet, just like I do, but this is a major step in the right direction. Thanks again. When you approach the budget together and try and come at it as a team and really have empathy for them and their wants and their needs and try to create a budget that can really maximize both of your wants and both of your long-term goals, it becomes fun because it allows you to have breathing room in your marriage and allow you guys to both get what you individually want and also attack what you want combined together. All right, that brings us to the fifth thing that budgets give you, which is they make you extremely effective. The definition of effective is successful in producing an intended desire or result. When you think about all the things in your life that you would like to accomplish, whether it's raising kids, putting those kids in college, skydiving, bungee jumping, uh, taking a specific trip around the world, going on a specific vacation, and being able to afford to take your parents and pay for them, saving 10 million dogs from an animal shelter, or it's just simply covering next month's bill. Whatever it is, when you think about all the things in your life that you would like to accomplish, I want you to understand that creating a budget for the money that you receive is simply the most effective tool that you can use to make sure that all those things happen. I don't care if you're Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Kylie Jenner, or Jeff Bezos, all that money that even they have, it's still a fixed amount. Now, if you scale that down to the size and amount of money that you and I are dealing with, a much more normal amount of money, it's even more imperative that we are as effective with that money as possible. Don't you wanna make sure that you're using every single dollar that you possibly can to maximize doing the things that you want to do and maximize giving to the places that you want to give? Think about this, 50% of all the decisions that you make on a daily basis are based on habits and previous decisions that you've made. You're not consciously acting in that moment. Wouldn't you be upset if you got to the end of your life and you looked back on everything and all the money that you made and all the money that you spent and you knew that 50% of every single one of those dollars went to things that you didn't really think about. You just bought them out of impulse or based on previous habits. Wouldn't you rather look back and know that you used as many dollars as you possibly could to take care of your family, do the things you want to do, and chase the dreams that you have? Don't you wanna be effective with your money? That is what budgeting gives you. It allows you to sit down and decide beforehand how you want to be effective with those dollars before they ever get spent. Budgets don't take away freedom. They give you freedom. They ensure that you are freely using the money to achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. The key is just to create a budget that you're excited about enough to actually stick to it. All right, those are the five things that budgets give you. I hope that if you have tried budgeting in the past and you have not stuck to it, that this video encourages you to understand just how powerful creating a budget is and how you can create one that really works with you. If you like this video, please hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Remember, I can teach you how to budget and get ahead with your money, but I can't make you do it. The choice is yours. I'll see y'all next time.